That's because I'm a marketer and a branding guy, not a salesman. But I'm also a salesman. Look at the earlier question I asked you. You said, what are you gonna do? I said, sell. I know how to sell, I know how to brand. The best way to sell in the world is not to run retargeting programs or affiliate marketing, it's build a fucking brand. Everybody, you think my man here is wearing those Nikes because they cookied him, <laughs> right? Like, like everybody here is where everything they're wearing, everything, the, the underwear I'm fucking with, what is it? Calvin Klein. It's fucking brand. It's fucking brand. It's all brand. That's exactly right. I don't want to ask people to buy my shit. I want to say I have a new sneaker out and people buy that shit. I have a new book out, of course. And here's the best part, and this is the most important fucking part in the entire game. When I ask for something, come see me speak, come buy my sneaker, come buy my book. I give away all this free shit, better than anyone. I think I'm at the top of the game, free, free. If they don't, I understand. I have zero expectations to convert. Too many people are giving away shit for only, when you give with expectation, you're a piece of shit. You're not a good person. When you give and you have an expectation, you're a manipulator. You're not a giver. I give and have zero expectations. The chips will fall where they are. If it goes great, mazel tov. If not, I wasn't providing enough value. That's on me. I don't give, I'm not doing this interview for any other reason than I know that it's leverage for you and it's gonna put you on and you can use it for other shit that you wanna do. And you know how good that makes me feel? That's real life. And I think that the cool thing about that is from a systems point of view, that does not create resentment within you. Because if you were giving. Correct. And you eliminate the self negativity. Brother, I have zero expectations of everybody. Right. I could give a fuck. I have zero expectations of my own employees. What, many will argue with me in my own organization that one of my shortcomings is my lack of expectations. It's just the way, it's, I just have empathy. I'm just overly to a fault. I would argue to a fault, empathetic. And I've brought it back to create more accountability and candor, but yeah, man, that's a, you, you, you're very smart to follow up what I said by that. That was a very good job by you. That's the right insight. I'm, you know why I'm always fucking happy? I don't fucking expect anything from people. Most of you are unhappy because you've got expectations of somebody, your mother, your friend, what you did at work, your boss, your homie. I got zero, when I lend somebody 20 bucks, I may pretend that shit's gone. I'm giving you 20 bucks. Yeah, it's funny, I had one funny question here. I was debating whether to ask, and I'm gonna- Fucking ask it. I'm gonna ask it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my two cents, but yeah. the question is, what was your payout from your dad's wine business to build this business? And my answer in my mind is like, dude, it's the work ethic, it's the grind, it's the integrity. Financially, it was zero. Financially, it was zero. When I let, when, you know, VaynerMedia was started by me selling a client from Gillette an $80,000 program, and that was the money that was started. The payout was dick. I, I had zero percent of the business. I didn't get a loan, nothing. I built that business for my family because my family brought me to America and raised me perfect. And so, nothing, the payout was zero, zero dollars, zero dollars. That's why when people talk shit, I laugh. I'm competing, I competed against people that raised a million dollars. Like people, like, you were given a liquor store. I sure wasn't. Like come and fucking look at my fucking taxes. Come see me, motherfucker. I built my fucking parents' liquor store for them. Facts. Now come see me when you got an excuse that, oh, easy for you, Gary Vee. You got a $3 million liquor store. Dick face, go read the fucking articles. I started in a company that was doing $3 million, making 300,000 in profit. I worked my dick off from 22 to 34, 15 hours a day to build a business for my parents that I left at 34 with nothing. Now tell me who had it worse, dick. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there I go. And, and that's my thing, right? For years, I never clarified that. The reason I'm not mad at people for saying it is I didn't talk about it because, you know, it was a family business. I didn't know, like, I didn't want to put my family's business out there. But now I talk about it with fire because I'm just tired of your excuses. And fuck me. Who gives a fuck what I accomplished? Don't look at me. Look at somebody who was fucking born in, like, the deep jungles of, like, whatever and comes to America and fucking eats you. My parents did it better than me, fuck me. My parents came here with nothing. Lived in a studio at 23 years old with $100, fucking. Forget me, there's a, 
There's 50 million people that came from dick shit and fucking made it. So what the fuck's your excuse? Entitlement, you're fucking entitled. If you ever bought a $5 Starbucks coffee, you're fucking soft. If you ever in your life bought a $5 fucking coffee from Starbucks, you are fucking soft. Globally, in the 7.7 billion people, you're fucking fancy, you're soft. A $5 fucking cup of coffee, fuck you. So I don't wanna hear it from the people in my comments or people like behind my back. You're, you live in fucking, you, you, you live in like 99% of my comments are from people in first world countries. Like fuck you. What, your best friend's parents bought him a BMW and not you, you fucking soft piece of shit? I can't deal with it, it's fucking ridiculous. People are, oh, oh you're mad at your homie because their parents, their parents, his parents, her parents paid for their Coachella trip but you had to work to pay for yours? You went to Coachella. Like what is the matter with you?